I'm going to Japan in a few days and I thought it would be fun to do a pack with me video. This was actually a very spontaneous trip. So I'm only going to be staying for four days. You know, it's a very short trip, but I'm going to Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka. The last time that I was in Japan was like 2019, like right before the pandemic hit. So I'm very excited to go back. To be honest, this is going to be a very minimal packing video. I typically like to travel light and also morning staying for a couple of days so I'm really only just bringing my essentials with me this trip every time I'm traveling somewhere I always like to make myself a little packing list on my phone and I like to separate them into different categories like toiletries for my makeup and skincare or shampoo technology for chargers camera clothing shoes accessories I usually like my list very detailed because I like to check off as I'm packing and then I also have a separate category for my carry-on I'm going to quickly show you guys what I'm bringing and then let's start packing so starting with toiletries the first thing is this lip and eye remover pad and I have both my oil cleanser and my cleansing foam because I always double cleanse next I have my toner pads and this package comes with 10 pads and of course, you can't forget sunscreen. This is actually a brand that I don't use normally, but this is the only small size that I had. I'm also going to be bringing some sheet masks with me because I don't want to skimp out on my skincare routine. And since I don't have any travel size versions of moisturizers and my essence, I recently went to Daiso and I purchased this travel container set. And it's just a perfect size for me because I'm not going to be needing that much. Um, I'm just using a spoon to scoop out the product. And for my essence, I'm just pumping it out with the pump applicator. I also bought some Q-tips and cotton pads from Daiso. And I'm putting it in a separate little bag to be more organized. I'm bringing this small hairbrush. I needed some hair ties, so I bought this at Olive Young, and I like that it comes in both brown and black. And then I'm bringing my curling iron to style my hair. I didn't want to carry a full-size perfume bottle with me, so I bought this mini travel perfume bottle on Amazon. And it's actually really easy to use. All you have to do is unplug the lid, and you just press up and down, and the perfume will fill up. And now moving on to my makeup bag. I got this travel makeup bag from e.l.f. many years ago. So it's very dirty, but it fits all of my makeup and it also has a slot for my brushes. For eyeshadow, I'm just bringing this eyeshadow palette that I made recently. I tend to go for more neutral colors, so this palette is perfect. And for my base makeup, I'm bringing my mini Hedda cushion. It's super tiny, so it's perfect for traveling. And then I'm bringing my Too Cool For School contouring palette for bronzer. As you can see, I'm almost finished with it. I'm bringing this blush with me that I actually got from my last Japan trip. Next, I have my eyeliner from Cleo. This is my holy grail eyeliner. And then for eyebrows, I'm bringing my Hints eyebrow pencil and my clear brow gel. And of course, my mascara from Clio. This is my absolute favorite mascara. And then I'm also bringing my eyelash color. I'm going to be bringing two different concealers with me. Um, the first one is for my under eyes and this one is for my blemishes. And lastly, I'm going to bring my lip balm and my favorite Hedda lipstick. I'm also going to bring this small bottle of Advil with me just in case. Okay, now moving on to technology and electronics. I'm gonna bring my iPad with me for entertainment purposes <laughs> and my Apple Watch. I think I might download the Suica card on it so that I can use it for transportation. Next, I'm bringing my Apple battery pack and this is definitely not the best charger but I like that it has a MagSafe so I can just attach it to the back of my phone and I don't need any extra wires. And of course, I'm bringing my vlogging camera with me. I'm also bringing this Sony tripod, which also works as a remote for the camera. I'll also be bringing three different chargers for my phone, my iPad, my Apple Watch, and my camera. 
Okay, so now moving on to clothing. I'm just gonna pack my most comfortable clothes. I know I'm gonna walk around a lot and I just wanna be as comfortable as possible. So I'm bringing a pair of sweatpants and an oversized t-shirt to wear as pajamas. And I'm also gonna pack one dress. And this dress is so comfortable, it feels like I'm not wearing anything. And I'm also bringing two additional t-shirts and they're both crop tops so they actually save a lot of space. And then for pants, I'm bringing my white cargoes. And this is what I'm planning on wearing on the day of the trip. I just got my favorite pair of jeans and this Adidas top. I think I'm gonna bring a pair of extra sneakers just in case. And for accessories, I'm just gonna bring my everyday jewelry. This is my favorite necklace from Heaven by Marc Jacobs. And then I'm bringing my Vivian Westwood earrings as well as my daily rings. And then I'm just gonna put everything in this small pouch. I'm also bringing an extra bag with me because I want to rotate between a shoulder bag and a backpack. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna bring in my carry-on bag. Of course, the most important thing is my passport. And I'm also going to bring a couple of masks with me so that I can wear it when I'm in a crowded place or when I'm on transportation. I'm also bringing my sunglasses but it's supposed to rain the four days that I'm staying there so I'm hoping that the sun will come out. Next I have my wet wipes. These always come in handy and I'm also going to bring my hand sanitizer. And of course I can't forget my airpods. I'm also bringing some cash with me. Every time I go to Japan, I end up using more cash than my credit card. And speaking of cash, you're gonna need a coin pouch because Japan uses a lot of coins. So this is the luggage that I'm gonna bring with me. I really like this one because of how light it is. I also bought these packing cubes on Amazon and it was really cheap. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. There's a total of four cubes and they're all different sizes. It also comes with this like little drawstring bag. I'm probably gonna use it for like laundry, like used socks or used underwear. So yeah, let's start packing. and ready to go. I'm so excited to go back to Japan and of course I'll be vlogging there so if you're not subscribed to my channel then please do so right now for more videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.